Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Just like you, I myself, I'm trying to prepare mentally, physically for the summer and I wanna be prepped now at the very beginning of it so that I'm not scrambling throughout the summer because I don't know about you, this happens to me all the time. I feel like the summer quickly approaches, it's here by the time I curate the perfect makeup, the perfect skincare, the summer is over. So I'm prepping myself and I figured why not prep you in order to just have the best summer possible. I just realized I felt really naked and I didn't know what it was. Where are my rings? I'm very scatterbrained. I filmed this makeup look if you were interested in what is going to be my summer makeup routine. It's peachy, it's sun-kissed, it's perfect in my opinion. I will link that video here. I just filmed it. I apologize if this dress is noisy because it is noisy, but let me show you the dress. It's long. I feel like it's a little tight in here, but I'm wondering if I go up a size, it's probably gonna be too big in here. It has pockets, but she's cute. I feel like she's very feminine. I like the sleeves. You can bring them down or you can push them up. They have this little elastic. Let me know what you think. Should I keep this? Because I kept the dress that I wore in my last video. I do rent the runway, which I think is a summer necessity. I find like stuff like this is fun. I love a dress like this, but I don't want to splurge and spend all of my money on a dress like this to only wear it, let's say three times throughout the summer because it is such a memorable dress. So we're going to kick off the summer necessities by saying that I think you need to rent the runway account. I rent five things per month. That's the subscription that I chose, I can wear them for as long as I want, send them back, get something else to replace it. It's just, it's such a beautiful, sustainable thing. It helps me really build out my wardrobe because their stuff is higher end, but you're renting it. So you're not paying the $400, $500 that a dress could potentially cost. I'm spending like $140 a month to just rent a bunch of $500 dresses. The silhouettes are more flattering, especially for someone who is petite. I'm 5'2", and I find that it's hard to find things that fit. This feels more right. This is my scoonchie. It's a big clip. I have very long hair. I don't like myself with short hair, but let me tell you something. I hate my long hair in the summer. It makes me hot, especially back here. Like the neck, it's terrible. I love clips like this because I just roll my hair up, put it in the back of my head. It gets the hair off of my neck, especially when I, you know, I'm a commuter. I commute to and from New York City on mass transit. I walk a lot. This is just good to get the hair off of me. I wash my hair twice a week, which is a lot for me. I used to only wash my hair once a week. In the summer, we sweat more, you know? At least I do. And I am someone where I sweat from my head. I get it from my grandma, her and I. All the sweat on my body is from my head. It's disgusting because I'm sweating more. The day that I need to wash it, which is today, like she's looking a little oily. Tie my hair back and slick it back. So I love these hair ties. I've talked about them so many times. They're from Kitsch. Always do a low pony because friends and family, alopecia, it's a real thing. Is it alopecia? Mm. Is that the wrong word? When you tie your hair back so tight, it basically trains your hair to move back. I like these because they keep my hair back my hair isn't falling out. I can do a really sleek bun, a really sleek low pony. Everything is low, okay? I might look like George Washington, but I'd rather keep my hairline where it is because I don't need a bigger forehead than I already got. Just my personal preference, but whatever. I like these hair ties. They don't rip my hair. Sometimes when I'm working out and I tie my hair back and the hair tie itself isn't like soft enough, I could hear my hair being pulled out from my scalp, which I don't like. So I love these great hair ties. I also really love this for those said slick back days. It's like a deodorant stick. This reminds me of a tea light though. I don't know why that trips me out every time I take it off. I'm like, that is a tea light. S-N-T-E, it's their hair wax stick. Ever since I bought this, I've seen so many people, especially on mass transit, these women in the morning, I love it and I'm here for it. I don't judge. I'm someone where I do my makeup on the bus. So you do your hair on the bus, you do your makeup. There's this one woman that I ride the bus with and I kid you not, she sits on the bus in the morning and she has a full on like vanity mirror. She sits there with her lights on and she's beating her face like she is going to a photo shoot and I am here for it. I respect it. I literally, you see these little pingy hairs because my hair is, I don't know if you could see, can you see all these little hairs? Basically this like slicks my hair back without adding too much product, without making my hair look stiff and disgusting. It actually makes my hair look shiny while also keeping my broken hairs in place. I would do this literally in the morning. And then I take this brush. I bought both of these on Amazon. I will have one link down below. I don't know if you missed my last, my summer makeup video, but in that video I did mention, I decided to open an Amazon storefront. I'm loving it. I'm honestly having the best time with it. So I will put one link down below where it is just a centralized location where you can shop all of the products. This brush has two sides, a bristly side 
and then like a comb side. I use the comb side to perfect the front of my hair and then I will take this brushy side and help to secure the hairs, maintain the flyaways in the best way possible. I also have a got to be, it is literally like a mascara wand that you can again use for your flyaways to help maintain them, push them down. Do you see what this is doing? Oh, look at that. That's real good. Another hair tie where this is just like I'm around the home. I just want to get my hair out of my face. I don't necessarily need my hair to be slicked back. These are really nice. They are expensive though. I would say like, you know, if you're not as high may as I am and you don't need two different kind of hair ties for two different scenarios because I'm just a little kooky in that regard. I would just buy these, but these are really nice. I use the slip scrunchies on the days where my hair is pretty clean and I kind of just want to get it out of my face. So I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. Also very important things for your hair in the summer for your hair health, other than traction alopecia. I think that's what it's called. At the beach house, I have a small version of this. I take this, I spritz it in my hand. This is a UV protectant, Bumble and Bumble, the hairdresser's invisible oil. It will help to protect your hair from the sun, but it will also protect your hair from heat. So if you're blow drying it, you're straightening it. I use this for all purposes. But in the summer when we're outside, I like to just put it down the ends of my hair like this. Protect my hair from the sun so that it won't dry out my split ends, which I feel like our hair is very dry in the summer. And then for the top of my head, I like to wear a hat. So all of my hair is protected. When I'm going for walks, again, you don't need to be this person, but I am a multifaceted human being that uses things for different occasions. So when my can I go on walks, I wear a baseball cap, like the one I just showed you. Then on more like fancier occasions or like when I want to feel chicer. You guys know I recently bought the cutest woven bucket hat from Banana Republic. So cute. And it was like $20. I also have a big sun hat that I will link down below that I bought on Amazon. The moral of the story at the end of the day is to just be protecting your scalp. On days that you don't wanna wear a hat, this has become my newest obsession. This is the Super Goop Resetting Setting Powder for your face or other parts of your body that I'm gonna show you. And it has an SPF of 35. Your scalp does burn. Setting powder that comes out of it and you can refill this. It is a reusable little guy. It's brilliant because then this pops up so you can put the cap on without ruining the brush. It's genius. I don't want to wear a hat. I will open this because you can open and close this. So I will open it and then I will pat the powder on my scalp. Will make your hair a little white, but just pat it out. It also takes away a little bit of the oil. It kind of like acts as a dry shampoo. When I get out of the shower, I think I need to put the hair back, but whatever. I don't like to brush my hair right away. You guys know I will link my hair care video up here. I take very good care of my hair. This helps to dry your hair quicker and also less frizzy. So I find that I have to use less heat on my hair, which is so great in the summer. It's so great for so many reasons. Dries your hair quicker, helps to prevent as much frizziness. My hair is still frizzy, but less frizzy. So then I use less heat to help maintain the frizz. And it also just gets my damn hair out of my face when I get out of the shower so I can get all that wetness off of me because I think that's just ick. I'm ick with the wet hair. I don't like it touching me. With said frizz, my hair gets unruly in the summer and I just find like walking to the office, walking outside. Like sometimes I just get somewhere and my hair just needs a refresh. I like these little travel wet brushes. This comes, I believe, it came in a pack of like three. One that I keep in my work bag, one that I leave at work, and then I have one that goes in whatever handbag it is that I'm using that day. So I just like to brush my hair, make it look a little nicer. If you are someone that likes to go swimming, great to brush your hair afterwards. If you like to go in the ocean, if you like to go in the pool. I'm a land dweller. I am like a cat and I do not like bodies of water. But if you are one of those people, this is brilliant. Keep this in a beach bag. Keep one in your gym bag if you go swimming, you know, at the gym. It's just, it's so good to have a hairbrush and it's so small. It fits in like 90% of my handbags. This argan oil, I love this. I always use this on the ends of my hair. This I just leave in the bathroom. So at night I'll put a little bit on the ends of my hair or in the morning if my hair just looks a little unruly. When you have long hair, sometimes the split ends, especially in the summer, they be split in. Also, I think hair oiling in general, if you want to see my hair oiling routine is great, especially in the warmer months where our hair hair is so so dry. I will put my hair oiling video here and I will link it down below. Two drops because it's oil. It goes a very long way. Rub it between my hands and then it just, I don't know if you can see, like hopefully you can. Look at this side now as opposed to this side. This side just looks a little bit more dried out. Make it look shinier and less frizzy. Whenever I put hair oil in, I do like to brush it. This way it coats the hair evenly. And sometimes it can get a little like separate -y if the oil isn't distributed nicely. 
Our next topic is SPF and body care. I take care of my body all year round, but I do give it a little extra love when I know I'm gonna be wearing a low cut top, um, more shorts, short dresses. You know, when the skin is out, I like to feel as though I'm presenting myself the best that I can to the world so that I feel better not only on the outside, but also on the inside. This glow stick, so this has an SPF 50. I get dark spots, and I find that a lot of people get dark spots on the highest points of their cheeks, so I can just really like hone in and focus this on the areas of my face that I need a little extra coverage, and I love that it's SPF 50, and I love that it is a clear stick. It gives a little bit of gleam to the skin, but it doesn't make me look sweaty. I like that I can just go down my chest. You can then rub it in. I use this a lot on my tattoos because I don't want them to fade or get like ruined in the sun. Wonderful for on the go. I don't have to worry about this leaking in handbags. I got this on Amazon. It is a retinol by Robanda. Robanda, I don't know. I don't really know her, but this is an anti-aging hand treatment with SPF 15. I want my hands to age gracefully, just like I want the rest of my body to age gracefully. Body lotion with SPF 30. It does not feel like sunscreen. This feels like my body lotion that I love. So when I get out of the shower every day, I've been using the Vaseline Calm Healing Intensive Care. It's 48 hour moisture that has lavender in it. It's so nice and it smells very calming. I love that it is a pump. Then I will go in with this beautiful hydrating lotion that has SPF 30 and I put this on my chest to my belly button and then I'll put it on my knees. On beach days or days where I know I'm gonna be spending the day sitting under the deck at the beach house, I use the Eucerin SPF 50. SPF chapstick, I don't have it here with me, but I think it's like Alps. I will put a picture of it here, but it is SPF 18. I just find like it's the one chapstick. My husband actually bought it for me. It doesn't irritate my lips. Like I find like sometimes SPF and chapstick really irritates my lips, it makes them burn when they're dry, or just tastes disgusting. But this is the one chapstick. I wish it had like an SPF 30, but it is only SPF 18. If you have a good SPF chapstick, leave it down below. Um, but this one has been my favorite. The acne is a little bit on fleek, especially on the back of my legs. I have been using, I will give you a full review. So far I like this, it is a little drying though. But this is the Pan Oxal Acne Foaming Wash. Basically I dampen the back of my legs and then I take a squirt of this and I rub this basically like it's like I'm washing the back of my legs with soap and water. That's literally how I use this. It treats acne on body and face. I have not used this on my face. I have very, very sensitive skin, especially on my face. So I've only graced my booty and the back of my legs with this. And so far I do really like it. So on the days that I don't wash my body with this, I will use the Paula's Choice Clear Acne Body Spray. This is 2% salicylic acid. I do not use these two on the same day. I will take this and spray the back of my legs and my booty. I don't know what's happening. I'm getting pimples on my booty. I'm getting pimples on the back of my legs. But it, the timing could not be more impeccable because when are the back of my legs out and when is my booty out? Only in the summer. Why couldn't we have done this in the winter to give myself more time to figure it out? But these are the products that I've been using. My acne has gotten a bit better. But it's still not perfect. It's still not perfect. I'm really a little out of order here. I'm, I do apologize. Um, for my booty, I do love to use the Boom Boom Cream. I basically use this on my stomach when I get out of the shower. I use the Vaseline everywhere. And then I go in, I hit my booty, my hips and my thighs and my knees and a little bit of my belly. So basically like my midsection, I hit with a bit of this. I just find like this has caffeine in it. I don't know if it's a placebo thing, but I really do think that it tightens my skin. It definitely makes my skin look more supple because it's more hydrated. So if you are someone that doesn't really, you're not really like in love with your midsection or your booty, or it just looks like it could be tighter, smoother, this is worth the money in my opinion. Um, I've been using this for years and years and years. It smells like summer. Smells like a tropical vacation. I just, it's so good. I love it. And so I had to mention, I love painting my own nails. I love painting my own toes. Do I miss my long dagger nails? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes I really do. But I tell you, I'll tell you what I don't miss. I don't miss sitting in that god awful chair for hours and hours and hours. And I also don't miss spending hundreds of dollars a month. Save yourself money, save yourself time in the summer. We want to be outside living our best life, doing the things that we love, not sitting in a damn salon chair, at least in my opinion. That's why I'm very bad at getting my nails done and that's why I'm also terrible at getting my hair colored in the summer. I just don't have the time. My sister literally asked me the other day what in God's name my hair was doing because she said I my inches are, my inches, my roots are inches long. So I made a hair appointment because she bullied me into making a hair appointment, but normally I would just ride it out until September and look like a wet rat. 
just me. I love OPI. OPI nail polishes are my favorite. I'm wearing OPI in Strawberry Margarita. So that's what I have on my nails today. I bought these two shades. These are new this summer. I have not worn them. I'm excited for this. Exotic Birds Do Not Tweet. It is a bright yellow. And yes, I am someone where my manicure always matches my pedicure. So I will have yellow toes. I don't know how I feel about that, but it is an obstacle I cannot overcome. They just need to match. I don't know. And then this is You've Been Red, as in like the color red. I love this. I feel like this is an updated Cajun shrimp, which is also my favorite favorite summer nail polish color, Cajun shrimp, love it. Follow along, see them on my fingers, and you can be the judge as to whether or not it's important to you that you buy them, but I love OPI nail polishes and I'm very, I love colors. And I find like colors are more doable when your nails are short, just because if I chip this, like I chipped this finger, but you can't really see when they're short. It's not as noticeable. Let's move on to makeup. This is how I use this. In the morning, I don't put this on. When I'm going to lunch or when I'm stepping outside, I will take this powder. Again, you have to open it. This is so beautiful because not only does it protect me from the sun, but it also helps set my face. I don't know if you can see, but it kind of just took away. Not that I'm really shiny though, because I did just literally do my makeup, but it will take away the shine and also protect me from the sun. Put some down my neck, put it on my chest also. This is the Morphe Sunsetter. It is a very light mist. I'll put some on. It smells nice. It smells like coconuts. It will give you SPF 30 protection. Makes your skin a little greasy. I'm not gonna lie. I will link a full day wear test that I did of this product, I think last year, because I think this is when it came out. I will link it here. Feels a little like sunscreen. I'm just letting you know. But again, this is the best SPF setting spray I've ever used. I'm gonna go back in with this because I feel a little sticky and I kind of want to just like tame that. But I love this. I can't get enough of this. Also, a setting spray that does not have SPF in it, two of them, but will lock your makeup in all day long. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. This is a travel size. I love it. I just love how like chic it is. It's so like clear and nice and beautiful. Very sophisticated compared to this one, but this is more affordable and I love it. Like the formula is great. Milani Fruit Fetish, like glue for your makeup. Two techniques that we need to mention in the summer for makeup. Light layers and baking. I always bake right here because I find that like when this gets greasy, I don't look dewy, I look sweaty right in here. So I just leave a little bit of powder for a few minutes. I layer the powder, let it sink into the skin, let it bake into the skin. That's why it's called baking if you didn't know. And then I dust it away. It will prevent this area from getting oily. I also just think hydrating lip products are important in the summer. Dr. Lip. This is a tinted lip oil that just makes my lips look effing juicy. So juicy with a little bit of a tint. It's so beautiful. NYX Fat Lip Oils. Oh, I just, I love these so much. They come in so many different colors, but this has been the color that I've been rocking the most. This is in Newsfeed. It's just a beautiful, cool toned, but also warm. It's like a good neutral. Of course, my YSLs, I love them. I have them in so many different colors. Number 44, but these are just so delicious. And this is more of a cool toned pink. This would go beautifully with this dress really comfy. I love these. My most worn lip products at the moment. If you have fine lines, if you wear too juicy of a lip, it will migrate into your skin and it will kind of like feather out through whatever fine lines you have. So I always recommend a lip liner. These have been the two lip liners I've been wearing the most recently. Honeybee Gardens in Island Spice. It goes beautiful. It goes really beautiful with any and every lipstick. And then this is ColourPop in Ashton. I don't love this formula as much just because it's so creamy, but this color is like undeniable. Very cool, kind of like taupey. It's the lip liner that I'm wearing today. It's just, it goes really well with pinks and blues, which have kind of been the tones that I have been reaching for the most most, but are just, when you're wearing juicy lips again, I think you need a lip liner because it acts as that kind of like barrier. I don't, I don't know why in my brain it's like rubber. It's like a rubber stopper. I brought my cover-ups to the beach house and I don't have them, but I'm going to insert photos of the two cover-ups that I bought. The brand is called Calzedonia. Let's open this because I just, I got more bathing suits and I bought a cover-up. Okay, cool. I forgot that I even bought the cover-up. So, softest bikinis I have ever tried. Now I'm from New Jersey, okay? I like an animal print. I was going through my bathing suit collection and I was like, you know what's so strange? I used to only wear tie bathing suits, string bathing suits, I guess that's what you call them. I don't know what the correct phrase for them is. So I bought a bunch of them and now that is my entire collection of bathing suits. They're all tie ones. But I, I just, if I could explain to you how soft this feels on my body, this material is un real. It is so 
soft. I literally feel naked, but like in the best way possible. I feel like I'm in like pajamas, a pajama bikini. And I know you think that that sounds crazy and I know that I sound crazy, but you cannot understand it until you experience how soft, they're so soft. They have ones that are lined. They have some that are unlined. I will link all of the bathing suits that I personally purchased down below. String bikinis are the most flattering. I don't care what anyone says. And if you don't have one, you need one because it has changed my mentality about how I feel in a bathing suit. Couldn't find any that really like made me feel good. Like it, I felt good to have them on, good to be in my skin until I tried this brand. And oh my God, it is game changing. Again, another product that is such a staple in summer staples is a sarong. Bought a black sarong and then I was like, ooh, but I want a fun sarong. Their material is nice. It's soft. They're easy. They're breezy. And I just feel sophisticated. I'm going for Hamptons Chic. I think this is like 30 bucks. The bikinis are so affordable. I feel like every time I look online for bikinis, it's like half of the bikini being the top or the bottom is like easy 80 to $100. It's wild. I hate, 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 loathe shorts except for the ones I'm about to mention, but these are just so sophisticated. I love them. It is a linen blend, very airy. I wore them the other day in the middle of this heat wave and I was so comfortable. I did not overheat. I really think that you need these for shorts. I hate shorts. Like I said, I loathe them, but I love these. I am a Hudson jean girl. I recently mentioned these in a vlog. I will insert the clip of me wearing them, but these are so comfortable and Hudson jeans are so soft. They look good on my booty. They look good on my legs. They don't like ride up because I'm someone where my booty, my bottom half is so much bigger than my upper half. I'm very, very petite up top. These don't ride up. They stay put. They flare out a little bit so they're not too tight. My booty doesn't come out of them. I just, I really love them. And again, they're from Hudson. They're a little pricey, but to me it's worth it because I hate jean shorts. If I feel really good in them, to me it's worth the money because it's very few and far between where I feel good in uh in any kind of short. My lounge shorts, I have these in the black, obviously. I have them in white and I have them in gray. They're super comfortable. They have pockets. It's a very shallow pocket though, so I will like throw my keys in there if I'm going for a walk, but that's about it. Stay put, they don't ride up, they don't fall down. Like a put together lounge short. So I really, really, really like these and highly recommend. When I'm running to ShopRite, when I'm running to a store really quick, when I'm running to PetSmart to buy my cat his very expensive wet fruit, wet food. When I go for walks, it's super convenient. I've talked about this so many times. Very spacious for a little bag. Bought this on Amazon, but it is from Lululemon. You can wear it as a fanny pack just like that over like this i wear this so many different ways it's just an easy one two three great little summer bag if i could bring my life in a bag anywhere and everywhere i go i would i love this bag i hope it's still available i bought these last year first i bought the green fell in love with it then i bought the white i've been wearing the white endlessly so far this season these are from gianni carini just the shape of them is so cute right now they're stuffed but they are a little bit more like floppy they hold everything and anything I like that they have outside pockets, like it's on the inside, but they have a pocket on both of the outside so I can throw anything like my phone, my keys, anything that needs to be readily accessible, mace, you know. I would say if you're gonna buy one, I would buy the white. I just feel like the white goes with more. It would go really, really well with this outfit and I love them. They're so freaking good. I have very large wallets, okay? I have a wallet that I use in the winter because I'm weird. And again, I like to carry a lot of things. But in the summer, despite the fact that I did mention those larger bags, I have smaller handbags that I do like to wear in the summer. If you want to see my handbag video, I will link it here. If you would like an updated handbag video, do be sure to let me know. I would love to film that for you because I love handbags. I have my small little Gucci D-ring bag that I love, I adore, and it's just a good summer bag. Like, while I like a big bulky bag to carry all my things, I also really appreciate a small little bag it gets hot in the summer. Like it is a heat wave this week. This bag right here would just like stick to my body if I were to bring her out. So I have been using my Gucci D-ring. I like a smaller wallet pocket organizer. I think it's called from Louis Vuitton. I bought this when Mike and I were in Italy. I love it so much. Very compact, you know? This is easy breezy. It fits in all of my handbags, whether they are huge or minuscule. The Veen Thermal Spray. I just bought a new one. It is expensive. It is $10 for this little guy. But if you're hot, you, we can only do so much. You know, I do drink a lot of water, but sometimes your skin just boils from being outside and you need a little refresh. Great at just helping to cool my body temperature. So I love this. I bring this everywhere. It won't 
fit in my Gucci D ring, um, but it will fit in my Gianni bags. It will fit in a little bit of smaller bags. So it's so, so good. My Evil Eye Beach bag that I bought from Beyond America last year. I love it. You guys know, if you know me, I love, love, love an Evil Eye. I love these Amazon tank tops. I love them. I love, 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 love them. An array of colors, an array of lengths. So, so good. I swear by them. Very white. So I'm a little sensitive to the sun. Again, I sweat from my head. Again, I commute to and from work. So when I'm walking in the summer, this fan, I have turned so many people onto this fan. It is so good. I bought it on Amazon. It comes with a little string so I can wrap it around my wrist. Take this from my work bag to my weekend bag. It's just, I always need a fan. This is also great to help set your setting spray. It has two settings. I will walk to the office or to the bus and I will be like this. I will be like this. Like I have no shame. I air out the pits, my neck my back. I would do all of it. Goes in my fanny pack when Mike and I go for walks. This is my savior, my summer savior. And it is rechargeable. And we love that. No batteries necessary. Necessities for my fit and fabulous life. I am always hungry. And in the summer, I'm always on the go. These Nougat bars, so good. These are peanut butter chocolate. They have 11 grams of protein, 180 calories, just a quick chocolate fix. Collagen peptides. I use the vital proteins, collagen peptides. I have a huge tub, but when I'm bopping around or or when we're going to the beach house and we're staying over and I know I'm gonna have my coffee in the morning. Whenever I have my coffee in the morning, I need my vital proteins. So I like a little travel to go guy. Good for your hair, your skin, and your nails. So take care of your health from your inside out. From your inside out. I also have a desk fan, which I've mentioned in a recent video. I will show you that right here, right now. That is essential for me because in the morning when I give myself enough time to get ready in the makeup, I need my fan on while doing my makeup. Otherwise, I will sweat to death, especially during that time of the month, which I'm currently in. I am overheated on overdrive and it's just not fun. I love you guys so much. Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Is there something that you think that I need to mix into my summer necessities? I would love to hear it. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell button if you haven't done so yet. I would love for you to become a part of my little family here in this small little corner of the interweb. Wishing you a fun, happy, healthy, safe summer. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. I packed up all of my summer essentials um, and my battery is dying. So you are plugged in in the wall and this is unprofessional. Could not end this video without mentioning my sunglasses. I totally forgot about sunglasses. I love these though, you guys know. It's a blue vibe. I'm blue. If I were green, I would die. I don't think those are the words, but I really like these. These have been my go-to, my favorite. I just, I feel like they're a beautiful color. That isn't black, isn't brown. Pretty much goes with my entire wardrobe at the same time. So these are from Dolce & Gabbana. I'll find them and link them down below.